Is it time to freshen up your shower storage? If so, you're in the right place. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh. I'm an occupational therapist and I am the owner of Stay at Home Solutions and Hard Time Wiping. Welcome, Becky. So today we're starting off 2022 freshening up shower storage. I don't know about you, but I have used shower storage that has like uh, the suction cups that you stick on the wall and then they fall off over time. Or I've used the ones that you hang on like the shower head, like they're wire baskets, they hang on the shower head. And you know, it's fine to each their own. There's all different kinds, but I wanted to show you the hug basket. Welcome to Toilet Talk. I want to show you the hug basket by Ponte Giulio. Ponte Giulio. And so this hug basket, I really like it. It is 11 inches long. It is four inches deep to the wall going that way. And then it's three inches tall. So it, it's made of, um, I'm not sure how to explain it. I don't know the exact material. So Becky, if you can help me type it in below, but I don't want to say it's acrylic, but it's some kind of hard plastic. And so we all know that's great to have in the shower because that means with all the moisture and humidity in there, that means this is really easy to clean. So it's really easy to clean. It has these slots where the water goes right through. If there's any water that splashes into it, you can see on the back, it has the Ponte Giulio um, uh, logo there. And you see it's kind of unique because it has this um, hole in the middle. So this hug basket was designed so it could fit on any grab bar that is one and a quarter inch in diameter. Polyurethane, thank you, Becky, I knew you'd come through. This is made out of polyurethane. And so, yep, a hard plastic that makes it very easy to clean and to maintain because in, in my world, I, I love to have a product that's easy to clean. I hate spending lots of time going through all the nooks and crannies, and I know I've had that experience with other shower storage systems. So this one is nice in that it is easy to clean with the polyurethane. Um, pretty much any grab bar manufacturer has grab bars that are one and a quarter inch in circumference. So this puppy doesn't have to go necessarily on a Ponte Giulio grab bar. It could go on any kind of grab bar, any $20 grab bar that you could find in a big box store, this guy can go on it. So what happens is it, it comes with this part, so you can put this part on any height on the grab bar, wherever you want to put it, and all you do is you simply put it from the top and slide it down like that. And then it just stays into place. So you have your grab bar here. I have um, a shower seat next to it. I like to have my um, seating next to, or making sure that everything is within reach. So if I have seating in the shower, I like to make sure the shower system is right next to it. So it's really easy to reach. I'm not having to stand up and walk around and twirl around on a wet shower floor to get everything that I need. Yeah, thank you. I know it also comes in a coral red and it also comes in graphite. So you have different options. Um, let's say you wanted this guy to really contrast with a white wall. You could have the graphite or the coral red. And it's really nice for people who, let's say you have a visitor. Um, if you do have this standing out in your shower, it's really easy for them to find the soap and the shampoo and anything that they would need or you know, a place to put a loofah or washcloth, those, those kinds of things. Um, I have a little uh, soap dispenser here. You could put it in there. It fits really nice and easy too. Um, I also have this sitting here. Um, let's say in my in my bathroom shower. Oh, polyethylene. Polyethylene. You. Um, oh yeah. Can you tell me more about that, uh, Martin? Uh, 
but with with the sitting here in the shower um, this is actually kind of my shower entry so let's say you wanted to store something a little bit outside of the shower that you wanted to keep dry like hearing aids or maybe a cell phone or other items like that that are um, more expensive but you want to keep close and handy to you maybe glasses um, so that's that's an, another option to think about having it in different places in your bathroom so that you could store those more precious items that do tend to slip off of bathroom counters. I can't even tell you my my contacts drop off of the counter all the time. <laughs> so having a more secure place to put it is really good. Oh, similar. So the polyethylene is similar to polyurethane. Very good to know. Okay, I'm I'm learning today on Toilet Talk. I don't know about you all. So um, high density plastic. Yes, it is made out of high density plastic. Uh, so yeah, so easy to clean. You can, there's so many options on where to put it. You can put up higher or lower depending on what your height needs are in the shower. You can also, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the shower. It could be next to your toilet. It could be next to the bathroom sink. So it's very versatile on where you can put it depending on wherever you want to store um, your bathroom supplies. So uh, yeah, I really like it. Does anyone, is this something that you all think you would put in your bathroom? I'd love to know. Please put that in the comments below. Um, let's see, and what else did I want to cover today? I think it's great basically just for anyone, really good for caregivers too. If you're somebody who is helping take care of a family member or um, a family member or you're paid, to help take care of somebody, it's good to have something like this so your your clients or your family members more independent in getting the supplies that they need. They can get the soap easier and maybe you're working a little bit less um, or maybe you're putting your items in here so that you can help assist someone with bathing, getting dried up, those kinds of things. So there's a really good, oh, Bear Me, Bear Me would put this in their bathroom, heck yes. So yes, the, the hug basket, H-U-G basket by Ponte Julio. You can head on over to pontejulio.com uh, on their website, look in their catalog for more information. And let's see, that's all I've got for the hug basket today. Um, I do wanna mention uh, that next Tuesday, on Toilet Talk, it's going to be a lot of fun because I have a special guest, Lindsay DeLong, at Equip Me OT here on Instagram. I'm so excited to have her on Toilet Talk. She's going to share some of her favorite things to have in the bathroom. So curious to know if um, what her storage, bathroom storage systems or whatever she thinks is excellent to have in the bathroom. You don't want to miss it. You want to come next Tuesday at 12 Central Standard Time. And if you think this video, if you found it helpful, or if you think somebody else should take a look at it to consider putting something like this in their bathroom, please have them follow me at Hard Time Wiping. And um, yes, if you head on over to hard hardtimewiping.com, I also do have a free newsletter that comes out twice a month with, with other tips and suggestions on changes, the best changes to make to your home. So with that being said, if anyone doesn't have any questions, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. This was short and sweet. So I know that this is gonna make a few more appearances in upcoming videos as well. Look out for that. I wanna thank you so much. What a great first toilet talk to start off the year. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>